We have a, a problem here. We have a hijacked aircraft headed towards New York. We need someone to scramble some S-16s or something up there to help us out. Is this, is this real world or exercise? No, this is not an exercise manifest. Today, our fellow citizens, our way of life, our very freedom came under attack in a series of deliberate and deadly terrorist acts. I've never seen anything like this. The victims were in airplanes or in their offices secretaries, businessmen and women, military and federal workers, moms and dads, friends and neighbors. Massive uh, rescue effort that's going on right now. We're trying to evacuate thousands and thousands of people. We have uh, as many of our police and fire personnel as, as we have uh, down in, in the southern part of Manhattan, evacuating people, trying to save as many lives as possible. When I am down and oh my soul so weary when troubles come and my heart burdened be then i am still and wait here in the silence until you come and sit There's people here from all over the country, and even Canadian and other international helpers. We love them. We appreciate. They're from not only the New York City area, but they are. We are finding out they're all from, from all over the uh, other states as well. Massachusetts we had seen, uh, Connecticut. So we're happy that they're helping us. They're such heroes, and we care that we love them. We're, our prayers are with them. Just the way people are all trying to help and hanging out water and trying to do what they can. That's impressive. I came over to donate uh, the clothes and shoes because I'm sure that there's people that will need it. That they said that they were wet and they need to change into new clothes so they can continue working. You raise me. I could do. Just shake somebody's hand, look them in the eye, and say thank you. you you and we appreciate that outpouring of support. None of us will ever forget this day, yet we go forward to defend freedom and all that is good and just in our world. God bless America.